welcome everybody. I'm James Milan, and this uh, installment of Talk of the Town brings us to the lovely garden between the town hall and the library for us to have a chat with our new assistant town manager, Jim Feeney. Jim, glad to talk to you. Thank you, James. Um, there are a lot of things that are new about this job. This is a position that was resuscitated. I believe it existed at some previous time, but hasn't for a while. Uh, you're relatively newly into it. Uh, but one thing that's not new is you and Arlington. So I know you've got uh, already a wealth of experience in Arlington government, but just uh, let us know again exactly how that has played out. Sure, you're, you're right. I've held quite a few roles here in town. Uh, my journey began back in 2009. I actually began working for uh, the health department within the Department of Health and Human Services as a part-time health compliance officer. Uh, after a few years, that grew into a full-time role as a health compliance officer. Uh, and then from there, I was you know, afforded the opportunity at various occasions to sort of fill in at other roles. You know, f during a maternity leave, I was able to become the lead health compliance officer. Uh, during yet another maternity leave later on, I was able to uh, serve as the acting director of Health and Human Services. And then most recently, this past summer, I had a a very fun opportunity to serve as the interim director of uh, recreation here in town. Yeah, tell us a little bit more about that. That was just uh, for a few months over the summer as an as interim, as you said. But, but sure. how was that for you? And what were you know what might have been the challenges for for you in that position? And uh, why again? Because it's interesting to talk to uh, not a jack of all trades per se, but obviously a very useful and versatile. Uh, member of our, our local government. So how were you chosen for that or why would you say and what were the challenges in that position for you? Sure, I, I think I was primarily chosen by the outgoing uh, director uh, Joseph Conley who did you know our parks and recreation work for many many years. You know we had worked had the opportunity to work together on multiple occasions as the health inspector uh, I was annually going into many of the recreation facilities, including the skating rink, the Ed Burns Arena, uh, the Reservoir Beach swimming area, as well as the concession stand at the rink. So, you know, over the years of conducting those inspections, I, you know, was able to get some institutional knowledge about the operation of those facilities. And then, you know, Joe and I had worked together on quite a few uh, sort of, you know, public engagement issues and you know we had a good working relationship and he thought I would be a good fit over there and you know from my perspective you know recreation during the summer th this is going to be fun <laughs> and you know it was challenging learning a lot of information in a, a quick period of time you know for as long as I had worked here I still didn't know all the names of the various parks and fields you know I may know them by one name but you know someone would refer to it by another name you know it's it was just interesting that there's a lot of uh, you know caveats to our parks fields mm -hmm. and playgrounds so I really had to you know learn where those were what some of the history was about them and interact with the various friends groups so that was a, a new uh, experience for me even though I had worked here uh, for quite some time so Let's talk about your new job. Sure. Um, we have, the, it, we obviously have town manager, Adam Chapdelaine, and then uh, he also has a, or there is a deputy town manager. Both positions have been in place, for, obviously, for quite a long while. You are the assistant town manager. So uh, people may be confused as to what a deputy would do versus an assistant, et cetera. So why don't you tell us a little bit about what the, what the outline of your job looks like? Sure. So. You know, my job, as it stands now, I'm going to have three primary areas of focus, you know, in addition to anything else that comes up along the way. But, you know, the, the focus of my position will be uh, essentially what I would call constituent services. And, you know, I'll be able to work with all our various departments here in town to help respond to and resolve citizen uh, issues, neighborhood complaints things like that. So help coordinating that response. You know, much of that stuff currently comes in uh, through the town manager's office and you need to do a lot of uh, coordination and follow-up and it'll be my role uh, to serve in that capacity. And that, that'll include attending a lot of uh, public meetings and, you know, events here in town. Mm -hmm. So really one component, as you're saying, then is keeping your finger on the pulse of what 
citizens are concerned about, either individually or collectively, you know, going to those meetings, understanding just kind of where people are at, and then in terms of, and then responding in uh, appropriately yeah. to to those concerns. Yeah, I, th I think that's a, a great summation and a great way to put it. Great. So, what what about the second? The second uh, big one would be so we have you know our Massachusetts public records law uh, was recently overhauled and you know signed into law by the governor, and that'll be taking effect on January one of two thousand and seventeen. And that, uh, you know, changes the landscape of how the town is going to handle uh, requests for public information. It'll be my role to sort of develop a streamlined system so that we're able to respond efficiently to those requests. But it'll also be my role to ensure that we're fulfilling those requests in a timely manner and ensuring that we're getting uh, the information that the public wants, you know, out to them. Right. And that's somewhat uncharted territory in that nobody's had to do that to the same extent before. So I guess you'll be figuring that out a little bit as you go along. Yeah, it is. I mean, there's, you know, certainly going to be a learning curve across the Commonwealth is, you know, many of us have been doing municipal work for a long time and we've been handling requests a certain way. So there certainly will be, you know, an adjustment period as we get used to what the new law entails. Mm -hmm. And the third piece of that, uh, as, yep. that you've identified so far, again, uh, understanding that this is going to be a continually evolving position, I'm sure. Sure. And the third piece to, to paint with a broad brush would be sort of capital project implementation. You know, there are a lot of projects here in town that need some additional oversight or management, and I'll be able to provide, especially to uh, some CPA, Community Preservation Act funded projects, some uh, facilitation and coordination to help some of those get done, especially at our some of our town-owned assets that may not have that may have a lot of stakeholders, but you know, sort of need someone to be a point person for that. You know, something you know, a future project may include you know some refurbishment of some of the areas where we're, right. we're in today. Yeah, so I, I I can see how where public records may be more of a you know less in the in oddly enough, given the name, uh, less in the public view, part of your job that's going to be less prominent. Uh, certainly this last is going to, you know, put you and these projects right out uh, in front of the Arlington population. And, uh, you know, they'll, they'll, they will, they will be sure to garner uh, attention and reaction. So I'm sure you're ready for that. Uh, I am. And I actually look forward to it. That's great. <laughs> Um, so your own background is in, uh, you, you have a master's in public health. I do. And um, obviously a, a lot of the work that you did in Arlington initially was in the health services area. What uh, motivated you and what do you think you bring to the table for this to pursue, what motivated you to pursue this position? What do you bring to the table in the position? Sure. So, you know, obviously this was an opportunity for professional growth for me and a good uh, next step. but. You know, it really provides me an opportunity to serve a larger part of our population in a new capacity. And that was something I looked forward to. And, I, you know, I'm just one of those people. I like to learn new things. So getting to learn, you know, I've been handling some traffic issues, things that I didn't think about comprehensively before. Now I'm really diving into it and I, and I enjoy that. So, you know, I think that my desire and you know, thirst for knowledge certainly lends itself to a position like this when you don't know what that email is going to say or what that phone call is going to be, but you need to certainly apply some problem solving skills and, you know, just really dive into it. And I enjoy, you know, actually the opportunity to get out in the community and interact with our residents, develop relationships and, you know, essentially share in their experience to, you know, let them know that I, I truly understand. Mm -hmm. And from the, you know, a capital project perspective, actually before I started, uh, in public service, I actually have a construction supervisor's license, and I was working in some facility management for a nonprofit. So I've always had an interest and have worked in the trades, you know, many summers during uh, school, uh, you know, working with my hands and hands on. So I have, you know, a good desire to be hands on when it comes to capital projects and, you know, seeing how things go and making sure that the, the work is done the right way. That's quite an expansive skill set you bring uh, to this position. It's great. Um, so you mentioned that you're already, you know, delving into. You've already had a little bit of exposure to traffic issues, as you said. Um, 
what are, w w with the caveat that this is a new position that you'll have to figure any number of things out as you go along, uh, what do you anticipate or already know uh, is on your plate, you know, over the next three to six to 12 months uh, that you're, that you're going to be tackling that are kind of the big things? So I'm not sure I have a full grasp of what, you know, what Fair I'm going to see in 12 months or maybe even six months. But, you know, you can certainly see it. You know, I've seen a theme that, you know, things that are related to our uh, built or physical environment here in town that are things that people encounter and experience regularly, whether it be the roads, the sidewalks, maybe the trees. So those are, you know, those are things that people see and use so you know I'm right, probably the living hear, environment that people are moving through all the time you know I, I, I can imagine that that's going to be a constant you know just always hearing about any uh, potential issues there and just sort of trying to make sure I have you know a good working knowledge of some of the larger private projects that are here uh, are happening here in town so that I can answer uh, resident questions and concerns and just be educated enough to know, explain to them, you know, the different processes that projects have to go through and, you know, what some of their expectations may be. Mm -hmm. So given the fact that you have performed so many different kinds of duties here in the town, I'm wondering if you are entering this new position with lessons that you've learned or things that you kind of really know about dealing uh, with Arlington and Arlingtonians and Arlington issues that you're going to be applying in, in your new position. Sure. You know, James, in my you know, years in public service, one thing you know, I've learned when responding to a citizen or a resident that has a complaint, an issue, or just something that's bothering them, one thing I've learned, you really have to take the time to hear them out. Uh, and, and I've learned that that goes a long way and, you know, I've always been committed to doing that uh, and you know what stems from that is then being able to offer clear direction on what I can and cannot do as a town official that just really helps to set uh, meaningful and manageable expectations about what potential outcomes could be uh, it's just always important for me that as a public official that you know if we if I do have to say no to something or if I can't come up uh, with a solution that I never say no without a reason. And I think that that is typically well received. Yeah, and I think also uh, reflected in our local government at, at all levels in a lot of ways. So, of uh, and something that I can, can speak for myself and, and, and others that I know that we appreciate as Arlington residents for sure. Thank you. And aside from the fact that, again, the, the learning curve uh, will be steep and interesting for you, mm -hmm. um, and this is great professional development as well, do you have, do you come to the, the job with any goals, um, any kind of personal goals for what you'd like to achieve within this position? You name the time frame, and in the next week, in the next month, in the next year, decade, you, you yeah. take it. You know, I'm driven just to be, you know, the, the best asset I can be for the community. I, I want to become indispensable, someone that you know people can trust and turn to for the information they want. They, you know, of course, I want to make the town manager's life easier as well. Mm -hmm. um, we always like to also include a, a little bit of a personal element. Sure. So um, again, as a although you are not unfamiliar uh, to our audience, I am sure already. Uh, why don't you just share one or two things that are more, more personal in nature, hobbies or passions or anything like that? Sure. Um, that people might not know. So one unique thing, James, is that I'm actually an Arlington Catholic graduate. You know, not something a lot of people don't realize because uh, you know I'm, I'm from Bill Rickham, Mass. But you know, ever since high school, I've spent you know a, a great deal of time here in Arlington. So you know, I, I find that yeah, that, that's, that's something long-term connection. Even. You know, that that's something I should share. You know, in my spare time, and you know, I'm happy we're doing this outdoors today because if I have the opportunity, that's where I spend my spare time. Mm -hmm. You know, whether it be out on a boat fishing or, you know, out on the links playing golf, that is, that is what I will be doing with my spare time if I have any. Let us both hope that we have some more opportunities to be outside uh, for our jobs um, and for our leisure uh, in the coming months. I'm sure we will. 
And I know that we'll be checking back in with you as you kind of, you know, delve deeper into the work that you're doing. Uh, but appreciate your taking the time to talk to us today. And uh, we look forward to seeing what happens with you. I'm sure you do too. All right. I look forward to speaking with you again. Thanks, Thanks very James. much. For Jim Feeney, our new assistant town manager, and for Talk of the Town, I'm James Milan. Thanks for joining us. Thank you.